All right, guys, we're about to start our three and a half hour drive to Lake Hartwell. It's sort of nice to be living in the south and to be this close, see some awesome bass fishing lakes. But uh, right now the sun came out. It's snowing this morning. And that's one thing about this time of year is the weather is unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit warmer um, next week during the event. But uh, we're gonna go out there. Can't wait to start practice tomorrow. We'll see y'all. What up, what up guys? We just got to the house. Alicia's got a set up for the week. We got old Mark Daniels rig right here. My boy DC. He's got it right here in the yard. Got the A-frame house. So lucky dog right here. The lucky house. One of us gonna win a derby this week. Hopefully. Walk on in. Pretty dang awesome little place. This is my room, the lucky room. Got all the UA fish, real tree clothes, good to go. Come out here. You hear them boys up there. Pretty nice little place. Pots and pans. Alicia did some shopping for me. Always get me some healthy stuff. We got my boy Mark Daniels making an appearance in the building. And back to DC. Nah, I, we gotta tell you this story. Hold up, we gotta tell like the story. I got some. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta turn the lights on for this story. All right, all right. So let me let me tell you all this story, okay? So DC DC calls me and he's like, Jay Wheels, Jay Wheels. Hey, look. He goes, uh, man, you gonna have to spot me some cash this week. I need some cash. And I said, what are you talking about? So DC, explain yourself with this story, boss. First of all, let me just do this. <laughs> So I'm at the gas station, right? And I'm trying to pump gas. And it's cold over here now. So I walk outside. I'm like, oh. I go, I'm in a hurry. I, I slide my car over and I go, bloop. <laughs> it goes straight to the ground. I didn't know it. I didn't know I had this big hole in my pants. So I'm in a hurry. I didn't hear my car fall down, blah, blah, blah. Well, I put my wallet in my other side. I walk so inside. you ain't got a hole in that side? Yes, I walk inside. <laughs> I go in there and I'm like, where's my debit card? <laughs> and I'm trying to pay for something and, and I have some cash, so I just pay with cash. Well, I walk outside, I look, I ravage through my truck, can't find it. And then this guy walks out behind me and go gets in his truck. And I was like, I said, he got my, he got my card. He no, ain't anyway. playing with those. So I walk over to his truck and I beat on his window and say, hey man, did you find a debit card? He's like, no, no, no. And I questioned him for 10, like probably five minutes. Please, buddy, I don't live here. If you got my car, just leave you back. It was underneath my truck tire. <laughs> and what you got, no, a, a good demonstration. Do it. So, 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 take the card out and show oh, yeah. how. Hey, show what you're showing right here. This right. Guy, he almost beat up an innocent bystander. The dog is wrong. There ain't much on this. <laughs> hold up, hold up. So I'll sit there and go, scoop. And, and I move. And it goes, block. Bank <laughs> on the ground. Bounces under my tire. <laughs> it's gone. So I felt like a Jimmy Jack. That's how we started this week. All right, boys, we gotta get some dang food. Let's get the heck out of here. We out of here, boys. See ya. All right, I'm about to set this up, guys. Four, four. Right, I'm here. I'm here. Four. What you think? Biggest one, obviously, whoever catches the big one, I'll buy dinner. Who's got to buy dinner? No, no, doesn't buy dinner. Okay, so basically the smallest bass weighed in. I'm going to buy, buy dinner, dinner anyway. On the, on the right. You see, he's feeling good. He's going to buy dinner anyway. Yeah, you got dinner last night. I got dinner. Okay, so we, we were trying to, I was trying to set up. I said, hey, look. Hey, we're out here anyway. We got, we got a week. We got a oh, full no. week before the tournament starts. Yeah. Why not jack a couple? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Why not catch a couple? Sure, so so box. anyway, especially there's so much going to change. So we got whoever catches the smallest bass out of the three of us 
the buy the bias bias the bias buy the dinner. smallest bias. He, you got yeah you got well you got to buy you got to buy this yeah good. like if I catch a four pounder, Dang. Mark catches a four and a half. You catch a two pounder. That's your biggest run of the day. <laughs> DC is buying dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Got her lit up this morning. We all good to go. Lit up, plugs in, oil, gloves. Making sure my life jackets. I even brought the flogger just in case. Got a prop in here. Where I put him? In? Extra tools. Put that right there. All right, we should be good to go. Yep. Now nah, y'all don't know nothing about them jalapeno caches. Bag's about half full. We gotta throw him in the boat. All right, we're good. We good. We got the new rig all set up, all ready to go. She is looking unbelievable. All right, let's ride. A little different walk coming up in that truck now. All right, real quick here. What I'm, what I'm talking about, you can see those are actually some fish. There's some bait around. Those are probably smaller fish, but they're suspended way high up in the water column. You know, you can see it's 30 foot deep real high in the water column and sometimes those are the hardest fish to graph you would think it's a little blob sometimes that's that could be the mother load so keep an eye out we're not going to fish for those fish right now you can actually see where i idle over them and they strut they started to streak back down I'm starting to see where they started to streak back down that's a good deal somebody dropping some brush all right, y'all, day one of practice starts now. Bass Master Class of 2018, let's rock. Not the kind that's going to win the classic right there. But there's a couple more down there, so we might be able to drag one up real quick. They get real fickle. They're real tight to the bottom, I'll tell you that. Sitting out here in about 33. Doing the worst thing in the world, dragging a shaky head around. But for some dang reason, these spots, that's what they like. It's like dragging stuff around. You can get them to bite for the most part. All right, so midday update. It's about 11 o'clock. Only have had a few bites and caught a few out deep in 30 foot of water, shot a little small spot. It's got one decent bite that I shook off on a dock. And that's been about it. You know, I've run a few docks. This is the thing, you don't want to be you don't want to be stale when you're fishing, you know, in practice, you want to continue to run new stuff. So I, I've been really trying to, you know, maybe run up shallow, fish a little bit, even though the water's pretty, you know, it's pretty cold out here. You can see that it's starting to warm up a little bit. I swapped swapped the uh, toboggan for the, the, the ball cap. And, and so my, for me personally, it's just about keeping it, keeping things honest. It's gonna change, it's absolutely gonna change. Things are gonna develop, but you just sort of want to see sort of what kind of stuff is going on. And, and get an idea, um, you know, what areas of the lake have the bait, what areas of the lake um, are producing, uh, what the fish are doing. Um, so we're just gonna run around a little bit. Right now we're not hitting on a whole lot, but we're gonna figure them out. We're gonna continue to run a lot of water and we're gonna figure it out eventually, hopefully. So we're gonna run around a little bit more. trying to keep these fish honest right now I slid up shallow for a little bit and you know the one thing that I've noticed um, you know from pre-practice is a lot of this water has come up so 
water's come up and there's a lot of vegetation in the water not like dead 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 plants um little sticks grown up stuff and i would assume as the water would warm if it warms up what enough those big large mouth are going to utilize that stuff so right now we're sort of just fishing a little bit shallower around all that and then on top of that we're throwing around these boat docks and as, as the water warms up um, and the air temperature warms up a lot of times the top of the water column is the warmest so these fish will suspend up underneath these docks especially the ones with the black floats and just really try to get that heat so i'm just swimming a, a, a white swim jig right here a little white swim jig with a uh, storm 360 swim bay on the back of it I'm just winding around just seeing if I can get some fish to come out they're probably gonna be a little lethargic right now we have a little cold front but at least see if I can get some fish to come out and look at it show themselves um, and get an idea uh, if there's a few of them up here or you know maybe if they just hadn't got here yet this is a pattern that'll probably be happening more so in the tournament because the water's gonna warm up the lows at night are gonna get you know warmer you know, last night it was 28 degrees, or this morning it was 28 degrees. So these fish are probably a little bit, uh, they might have backed off and suspended a little bit more. But I wanted to at least keep them, keep them honest. Fish shallow for a little, maybe flip a jig a little bit as well. I think the biggest thing is probably figuring out, I mean, boat docks are definitely going to play. The biggest thing is figuring out if it's going to be the shallower boat docks um the deeper boat docks or if it's going to be about the brush around the boat docks so that's what we're trying to figure out as of right now there we go had to get more towards that main lake to get a big spot quite a few of them right there actually pretty good one two and three quarter pretty fish <sighs> yeah he's probably two and three mm, two 260 i'm guessing let's let that one go and see if we can catch another one all right got us a bite got us a bite they're just really fickle golly they're fickle I had to get way off that sucker. Like I seen him down there and then finally just doink. Oh, it's about 5.52 right now. It's late. Not been a great day. It really hasn't been. Uh, man, I don't know. This thing, I have not found them. I'm looking around, really trying to... St I've been out deep and shallow. Um, caught a few fish, but nothing that's the caliber of fish that you want for the classic. So, I'm out here looking around a little bit right now. Trying to find those few... You know, the thing is, if you find a couple of those good quality spots, or even the large mouth, they should be out deep right now. Some of them should be out there, but hasn't been a great day. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna find them here eventually. We eliminated a lot of water, which is good. And that's the thing that a lot of people need to understand is a lot of times eliminating water is almost as good as finding the stuff. So almost, not quite. There might have been some right there. We're gonna idle around a little bit. 
give you an update later tonight. We're gonna see if we can't, uh, got about 30 more minutes of daylight. We're gonna see if we can't find us a few. Alright, so we're at dinner. Mardale, Connell, we here. It was a cold day, we didn't catch a whole lot, but the, 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 the reveal of a loser who's gotta pay for everything. They didn't catch it. <laughs> Hey, we caught a lot of bass. That's it. That's it. Hey, you didn't catch a lot. Catch a lot. Catch we caught a few bass. Probably <laughs> biggest fish I had today. I didn't weigh him. I caught him late. I'm going to say he was 260 something. So, Mark weighed in. What was your biggest? 275. 275. Connell? 332. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. So. Gotta have five in the day to get paid. Yeah, literally. What do you mean? You get paid. You get paid no matter what. Yeah. I guarantee you, I don't get your bath. I'm gonna get paid. Oh yeah. I gotta get paid. We're gonna get paid grand, no matter what. Anyway, so I gotta pay for dinner. I think I shook one off probably bigger than all of those, but it's okay. I'm not gonna catch him in a tournament anyway. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Alright y'all, we're gonna get out of here. We'll check back in later. Rattling out. Right now as we speak. Gonna go day two. Practice. Trying to get an idea exactly how we're gonna approach this day. You know, this is the thing. There's a lot actually there's actually a lot of tournaments out here right now. It's a big high school event. Uh, there's a big fisherman event. Lots and lots of tournaments going on right now in Lake Harwell, so that makes it real difficult to practice because you might roll into a place that looks good, is good, a lot of boats there, you don't get a bite, maybe they've been already picked off. So you, you sort of it's sort of a tough deal these last couple days, or you know, like yesterday anyway, because there's there was a lot of boats on the water, and, and that makes it difficult to go run around and try to figure out what the fish are doing because there's so many of them out there. Um, we're, we're gonna run out here and sort of mix it up again today shallow and deep and try to keep you know keep them honest you know we've seen water temperatures upwards of 56 yesterday um the, the tournament looks like it's going to warm up so but it's going to happen during the tournament so you really can't probably there's probably gonna be patterns that develop during the event that i would say are not happening and will not happen until probably thursday or maybe even you know the last practice day on wednesday so we're gonna idle out here Get out of the marina right here, over here. Portman, putting in Mid Lake. We're gonna run around on this pond and go try to find us a bass. We'll check back. We got a decent spot right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, knock my name. Deal off the deal. Spot. All right. Had a few bites since we've talked last. It's been, uh, it's been interesting. They ain't been biting good, but I had three bites. I seen one spawning. So, water's 54 degrees. Must have came up on the last wave. Have not had a good bite up shallow at all, but I have seen a few of them. So, I'm trying to keep them honest. And I'm telling you what, it's been sort of. It's been tough. Caught a few fish this afternoon, but it's not been too great with the with the the tournament warming up. I have to see it, think that the dang shallow bites gonna go off. It is Saturday though. There's a lot of boats out here fishing around, which makes it a little more difficult to to run around and fish. Because you don't know, you go into a place like this, it looks great, not get a bite. Somebody just rolled through here and caught two five pounders. 
just totally write it off. It's part of it. Come on, big one. Probably things with one spawn right in there. Little hole. Big and big old magnum spot. A few of them down there too. Big old magnum. It's a pretty big one. Ooh, calm down. Most way. Oh yeah, that's a decent one right there. Heck yeah. Look at that. There's something down there right now, too. Two something. Put him back real quick. Well, we slid back up into the back of these pockets, man. It looks so beautiful, all this flooded brush. And I have not had a bite in it, though. It's sort of crazy. You can see the water's a little bit more stained. Somehow get water warmed up 57 degrees. You know there's some in here. I had to pick that buzz bait up just to keep them honest, man. I can't. The water's warming up and big and we'll bite that buzz bait. Just a matter of time. I bet you day two of the tournament's gonna go down on a buzz bait, you watch. That's gonna be the deal. That's gonna be the deal. We're gonna bust a bag of them on a buzz bait. Yep. Pretty good fish, two pounder. Yep, that's what's gonna happen too. Well, it's about 2.30, second day of practice. And, um, you know, really, I haven't found anything that I really like or I feel like super confident about. Got a few bites shallow and a few bites deep. The majority of these fish seem to be wanting to get up there, but I don't think they're up there that shallow. I think they're in like six to eight, probably even the stained water. You see the water's a lot more stained than some of the stuff we fished yesterday. But overall, it's been, you know, it's been slow. It's been really slow, you know? Uh, I don't think, you know, I keep saying a lot's going to change, a lot's going to change, and I just definitely think it's going to happen. It just, you try to, to look at a lot of places, and that way when you do get a bite, that's a good bite, you know, maybe it's Wednesday, maybe it's the day of the tournament. You remember a few places that look like that, so you can roll over there and go catch a few fish. So, we're going to keep running, keep riding, keep looking. It's actually about to start raining, so we're about to get the rain suit on here in a second. Grab us a little snack and then uh, keep on going. We'll see y'all later. Yes, sir. Fish is being all goofy on us. That's our third or fourth buzz bit bite. We've had a couple of really nice ones. What bite it? It's actually had it weird. He was hooked good, but it's hooked like basically through here and then in his. It's sort of weird. Anyway, it's a good two. Dang, it's 225. Skinny. Uh, 
I was off on that one. Off on that one. It just felt like a 240. Axe and buzz bait, little hammer crawl. They like it. Now look at this, guys. Water's 53 degrees. Yep, they eating a buzzer. We are sitting here getting ready to go day, day three of practice. So far, it's been pretty tough out there. <laughs> Gone out. So, um, I don't know. One thing about the third day of practice is, I'll tell you for me, it's always it's hard to get up. Oh, for sure. Third day, you, know, you go hard three, two days in a row. That third day, you're just like, yeah. Yeah. You know, we're still up in there at them real early. Be on the water probably 25 minutes before daylight. Um, so, Bash's rules you can get on the water 30 day, thirty minutes or go out 30 minutes prior to daylight and you have to be back in 30 minutes after sundown. So, we try to get the best out of most out of practice and work real hard. And just, uh, you never know what you'll find. So, we get out there, put on our rain suits, which will rain all day. 100%, boys. You need, uh, Connell needs a couple of them Red Bulls. <laughs> he needs his wings this morning. Uh, I'm going to a field about 9 a.m. <laughs> 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 yeah, That's, That's exactly sure. what's going to happen. All right, y'all. See you. Well, putting some oil on the boat right now. We're actually getting a late start because, unfortunately, somehow our batteries got unplugged last night. So... You gotta give them a little bit of time to charge up. So I'm just trying to get everything done that I need to. Get some oil in here. Put some hook covers on. Call it good. She's thirsty for some oil. All right. Done. Wait a few more minutes. Go try to run around. The only problem is today I was sort of gonna burning turn, so I need that that battery. I need that battery levels to be pretty high. If I can get them, I'd like them to be charged up, but it's part of it. I don't know how that sucker got unplugged, but it did. Probably would happen. See. Suckers right here. House is right here. Cord right there. Surprised somebody went out and grabbed something and accidentally tripped over this cord. That sucks. Well, whatever. All right. We're going to go out there and get after it. See y'all. I almost made that mistake again. Got a bag full of bananas. They were for snacks. I almost put them in the back in the boat. And then I thought twice about it and said, nah. Put them back in the tray. But I am going to eat me one right before I jump, jump on the boat. Anyway. Well, so far this morning, has been tough like every other morning. There's actually a couple right there. Huh, I don't get that. Been out there throwing a swim bay and an underspin, but it has not been going down for me, so. Back to go shallow for a little bit, and then um, get 
keep it mixing it up. It's, it's raining today. It's supposed to be raining all day. The high is 52. It's going to drop the remainder of the day. So those are the days it's pretty dang cold. <laughs> I'm telling you that. It's going to be a chilly one, but they should bite. That's the only thing. The child fish should bite right now. Uh, if they're not going to bite, then the weather it might be a little tougher on Wednesday, but we're going to find out. I'll tell you what, it helps sometimes just to think, talk things out. You think about it and you're like, gosh dang it. You know, you try to... There's actually a little one right there. Huh. I swear them suckers are down there like 25 to 35, but there's some of them going to get by. I mean, they are a little mo uh, Anyway, check back in later. Right now I'm idling around looking. Making sure I know where all the little brush piles are just in case that does end up playing. The thing is, a lot of these fish are shallow right now, and there's not that many. I think a lot of them are deep from what I've seen. A lot of the fish that are shallow are going to pull out to get real cold during the, official, or during the official practice, which is actually on Wednesday. You have one day, and it's going to get real cold. And more than likely, that's gonna pull all those fish into that brush and that 10 to 14, 10 to 15. So we wanna make sure we have a few of those piles where those fish might pull to. You just have to really fish this tournament on the fly. That's what we plan on doing. guys last day of practice here we are it's about 7 20 we go take off at 7 30 we're boat number 11 and this is the practice run through so it's not going to be a full day of practice but it's a day of practice that matters a lot because it's the most consistent or this is the most the closest information that we're going to gather before the event you know this is we practiced saturday friday saturday sunday last week and now you know monday tuesday was off wednesday's the last day of practice today and then we have a day off on Thursday and then it's go time on Friday. So this is sort of the last chance to go out here and figure out if you want to find an area, you want to look at the lake, this is your time to do it. And we got to make hay, we got to figure these fish out, make sure they're still doing what we think they're doing and then run around and get a few things else, other few things dialed in. But we got to put these gloves on first. <laughs> That's numero uno. Hmm. Two, 
he's chunky, I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. 248. Yeah. There I figured there'd be some like in the back of the little pockets like on this stuff. Wind blowing in right there. Water 52 right here. A little warmer, some shad around. Practice is officially over. And it wasn't that great a practice, but we eliminated some things. I only caught one bass today and the official practice run through, it was not great. But I did shake off a couple on boat docks. One that I felt like is a pretty good fish, two and a half, three pounds, I don't know, maybe maybe even a bigger one. But this tournament, I can tell from just the conditions that we have, it's cold right now, it's gonna warm up during the event. It's going to be one off of instinct. And when I say instinct, I mean the guy who just gets that feeling like, hey, I need to go run this pocket or I need to go run and fish this point. You're gonna have to fly by the seat of your pants. You're gonna have to make decisions on the fly. And I like that kind of tournament. I like fishing that way. And with the weather conditions warming up, day one, it looks like it's gonna be one of those things you just need to be consistent. Day two and day three, it looks to be, to me, like it's gonna be the days that you can really catch a really big bag. We're gonna see what happens. Media days tomorrow. Tournament starts on Friday.